Hello chess fans, this is Rick from chess to impress with a video on 18 year old playing in true Bobby Fischer style or chess is just easy if you are that much of a genius. It is about the game of women grandmaster Sabina Foyser with white against international master Carissa Yip behind the black pieces from round 8 of the 2021 US Women's Championship played on October 14th. The position on the board is after the 39th move from black queen b3 to c4. The opening was a king's indian and black quickly outplayed her opponent. Quickly on the board and quickly on the clock at this point after that move queen c4. Forzer was in time trouble and Yip still had almost an hour on the clock. Black by the way is totally winning in this position. She has an extra pawn and all of her pieces are better than white's. With her last move, she is attacking the white rook, which is unprotected on e2. Forcer had to make the last move before the time control, and she played king f1, and that is desperation, going deliberately in a self-pin. The rook is now pinned. That is something you only do as a last resort, and even then you won't do it. Rook c1, very direct play from Carissa Yip, which made commentator Grandmaster Maurice Ashley Think of the great Bobby Fischer, the 11th world champion. Let's have a listen to the live broadcast of the St. Louis Chess Club YouTube channel. Yes, sir. Yes, and, please. And Car Carissa is so sharp. We're seeing an Let's inside see window one. into her style. She sees direct ideas quickly. Just she like does. quick tactics, quick tactics. Yeah. Quick. And she pushes it on the players and says, solve this problem. So here's another problem. Here's another problem. She's not playing nuanced positional chess maneuvers now nah. just go after the throat bobby fisher style very direct clear-cut chess remember gellish said famously fisher can't win the championship his style's too simple he's playing direct moves all the time <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what that's why he beat uh, Petros, uh, yeah. Taimanov 6 0. Yeah. That's why he beat Larson 6 0. And that's why he schooled Petrosian. And then that's why he schooled one Boris Spassky. Just that direct style. See the tactics real quick. Solve this problem. Solve this problem. Every move, a problem, a problem, a problem. Sometimes chess is just easy when you're that much of a genius. Carissa following in those footsteps with these direct threats. And now our opponent looks at her position and says, Abba, What am I supposed to do? It's so High praise for Carissa Yip. The point of rook c1 is it is indeed a very direct move if now white plays a6. That's her only trump card. Then it's mate in 2 with rook takes e1 check. And if you recapture, this is checkmate. So that is a threat. Sabina Forcer found queen e3, covering the c1 square. But now b4, b3, black has a pass pawn as well. A6, B2, A7. There's another checkmate possible. Here Yip played rook takes E1 check. If you take it, there is B1 queen check. You can also play queen C1. That leads to the same thing. King D2, there is queen C to C2 checkmate. And if you go to C1, interpose the queen, then this is also checkmate. So after rook takes E1 check, you cannot take the rook. Of course, the white rook cannot take, it's still pinned. King g2 was played by Forzer. Rook a1 very quickly played by Carissa Yip, controlling the a-pawn. And after rook e1, queen a6, keeping the a-pawn on a lock and key, Forzer threw in the towel and resigned. After eight rounds, Carissa Yip is leading the US Women's Championship. She only celebrated her 18th birthday last month on September 10th. And being compared with Bobby Fischer is the greatest compliment a chess player can receive. The style of a friend of mine was once described as a touch of Fischer. That was a great moment in his chess life. And then there is this position. Round 8 in the women's section was a bloody affair with four decisive games, of which three were with the black pieces. In the open section it was a much quieter round with six draws from six games. The last game to finish was the battle between women international master Askrita Eswaran with white and women grandmaster Gul Ruch Begim Tohir Jonova with the black pieces. Tohir Jonova won in the end after 148 moves. And I want to show you this position, which is the position after 
The 53rd move from white, queen d1 to b1. When we do a body count, we see that black is an exchange up, white is a pawn for the exchange, and the fact that all the pawns are on one side of the board makes it a difficult position to win for black. It requires good technique and a lot of patience. Queen a8 was played by Tohir Jonova. Black's attack is very strong. This forces white to swap the queens, and that is a success for black. When your material up, it's generally a good idea to swap off pieces. As Raram played queen b6, and rook g5 as planned with a checkmate threat on g2. Here you have to be very careful with white. If you play g3 and you think you've stopped the checkmate, then black has a tactic. If you want to look for yourself, put the video on pause, see if, if you can find it. The refutation of g3 is just to take off that pawn. Because if you recapture, there is a checkmate after all. There is also a rook on a2. So after rook g5, as Raran did not fall for that, she did not play the g-pawn, she swapped the queens, played queen c6, and that way the queens came off the board. Queen takes and knight takes, and the game went on for another 92 moves before black finally won. During that long endgame, one of the commentators of the St. Louis Chess Club live broadcast, Maurice Ashley, set his peer grandmasters, Saravan and Kirilla, a little puzzle. Would the Grandmasters, after six hours of commentating, be able to solve it? For this, we have to go back a few moves. If instead of queen b6, white would have played queen b4, and black plays rook g5 with that same mate threat. How does white defend herself here? If you want to look for yourself, put the video on pause. I'll play the clip first, and then show it to you on the board. Flash tactic. Flash I know it's been like... How many hours? Six hours. Okay. Since we've been working. Flash tactic. Yep. Queen b4 instead of queen b6. And now queen a8. What do you, uh, sorry, now rook g5. What do you do to defend yourself? Knight, of, knight c6. Knight f3. Knight c6. Or knight, knight f3. Three. Knight f3. Queen f8. Yeah. Yeah. Queen f8. Yeah. Queen f8. Yeah. Can't fool these guys. Yeah. Uh, Even f3. after six hours I finding for pets. For pets. Those patterns, man, I think they're hardwired. <laughs> At a certain moment, Maurice, you play enough chess in the park, you know you're for pets, man. Yeah. And the Grandmaster saw the idea immediately. Knight f3 is the way to defend. It's attacking the rook. And it looks a big blunder. It looks like the knight can just be taken. Queen takes f3. Yes, that is possible. The g-pawn cannot recapture. It is pinned. But the point is that there is queen f8 check with an immediate draw. All black's pieces are far away from its own king. And there is nothing to do against a perpetual check. Yes, those grandmasters are good at tactics, even after six hours of hard graft commentating on all the games. They solved this position immediately. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Chess to Impress channel and please leave a comment. I will read them all and I will reply to them all. If you liked the video, it would be great if you could share it on social media by clicking the share button on YouTube. You can find me on Instagram, on Twitter and on Facebook. This is Rick for Chester Impress. Thank you for watching.